Good morning, everyone. I'm uh, Michele Merelli, and today I will uh, guide you through the use of uh, Particle Works and Mod Frontier to optimize a lubrication, a forced lubrication system. In this example, we will show you how you can use the PVPy Python API design for controlling particle work simulations to automate the simulation launch and pre-process and also to extract interesting features of the system in order to optimize the system itself. PivoPy is a Python API or module that is specifically designed to control the particle work simulations. In this way, we can automate the scene creation, the modification of the scene. We can also automate the pre-process, simulation and post-processing. There is a very detailed um, documentation that allows us to understand how to control every part of the simulation. And it's very easy and user-friendly. Taking advantage of the API, we can, for instance, automate a screening or a parametric uh, evaluation of a particular system, like in this example, a gearbox with different gears rotating and meshing together with various input uh, uh, velocities. Mod Frontier is uh, the second tool we will use in this example, together with Particle Works, the fluidodynamic uh, simulation software. Mod Frontier is a tool that allows for a fast and reliable and insightful analysis of different design to achieve a multi-objective design optimization. In particular, it allows to perform and schedule specific simulations. Then it also allows to visualize the output of this simulation and the trends in the input and outputs of the simulation themselves. And at the end, thanks to the advanced uh, post-processing tools, it allows to spot and better understand the system that we analyze with Mod Frontier. Here is an example of an automation and optimization uh, process in Mod Frontier. What we can do is to set a scheduler and then modifying the CAD or the uh, let's say simulation parameters, we can automate the launch and also the evaluation of objectives like stresses or lubrication or temperature distribution. And after running the, uh, in this case, only the CFD simulation, we will reach an end and we will reach an output that needs to be evaluated and needs to be uh, used to further run a new simulation, for instance, or further uh, launch an optimization uh, step. The example that we will show is a forced lubrication system in which we have to position an inflow and a jet in a specific spot near the meshing area. So what we will try to achieve and understand is how the position and the orientation angle of the inflow can impact the overall lubrication and also the losses due to the interaction with oil. In this image, we can see a closer look uh, of the inflow and the ejected oil, and we can see oil on one of the gears. So what we did was to uh, create a Mod Frontier tree in which we have three inputs, the position x, y, and the orientation x of the inflow. We have a scheduler for a design of experiment uh, setup, and we have PVPy, so Python script controlling our simulation in order to change a template simulation based on the inputs provided by Mod Frontier. At the end, there is another actually script that allows for the automatic post-processing of the simulation. And then it allows us to extract the overall oil amount in a specific area and the total losses on the gears. Those are the outputs that will be later used for optimization by Mod Frontier. 
So as I mentioned, we will uh, screen for uh, three actually uh, properties of the inflow, the position y, the position x, and the orientation along the x axis. Those parameters will be varied. As you can see here, we have three examples of uh, position of, uh, um, of the inflow and also orientation. And what we will monitor is, uh, thanks to this box, control box, the amount of oil and also the losses that are automatically outputted by the software, by Particle Works as a CSV file collecting the forces and the torques on the gears. Here we have a closer look at the script. Basically, the input data are uh, transferred to the Python script that can control the simulation. And uh, as you can see, the rotation and the position of the inflow are controlled with these matrices. And then the uh, matrix is used to update a template simulation. With Mod Frontier, we then used a, a design of experiment to schedule uh, nine design evaluations using a two-factor full factorial uh, simulation. So we kept constant the position X and we varied in a range, in a specific range, both the position Y and the angle X. In this way, we took the extremes of the range that were allowed for these two uh, inputs and we evaluated the outputs at those extremes. Then we also added two out of plane inflow position X points in order to understand how this third input parameter can influence lubrication and losses. Here we have an overview of the position of the inflow for the uh, nine um, configurations. As you can see, the position of the inflow and the orientation angle are varied across the simulation that were automatically generated and run using Mod Frontier without any need to open or use uh, the Particle Works interface. After running the simulation, we did post-processing to understand if the, there was correlation between the two outputs, the number of particles in the meshing area, and the total losses on the gears. We wanted also to make sure that the design point we picked were the most general as possible. In order to understand this, we can, for instance, take only four points of the DOE and compare the results with the nine DOE points. As you can see, there is a strong correlation between the total losses and the number of particles in the domain. This is expected because more oil results in more losses, of course. And we can see that this correlation is already well captured with only four data points. So that allows us to draw a co the conclusion that in the future we could avoid launching all the sub uh, system for the full factorial uh, DOE that we picked. Then we wanted to understand how the out of plane uh, position X parameter could influence the losses and the lubrication of the system. We can see that there is a linear correlation between the position uh, X of the inflow and the losses, while in the number of particles, we don't have a clear linear trend. And this tells us that we need an additional data point, for instance, in the middle here, between 400 and 390 uh, in millimeter in position X, to understand if there is an absolute maximum in the middle. This is exactly what we did. We added a, a simulation design this is uh, why we added a design point to understand what was the lubrication uh, of the position X in the middle. For this reason, we run an additional simulation and we schedule an additional uh, design point and we could observe a new maximum in the lubrication uh, as compared to the position X parameter. After running a significant amount of simulation, we can then 
try to create a response surface for the system. The response surface is a methodology that can, uh, from uh, uh, specific simulation that were previously simulated, the response surface methodology allows from with this methodology, we can use the simulation that we run with particle works, for instance, to obtain a trend and a general description of our system. We can achieve this by training different algorithms based on the provided data sets, based on the simulation that we run. Once we train and validate those algorithms against the simulation that we run, we can then use the response surface to predict without the need to run a new simulation, to predict the outputs of an additional design. We can see here an example of the creation of a response surface using different type of algorithm. And the output is something like this. Of course, those response surfaces and the quality of them can be influenced significantly by the number of design that we use for training. In this case, specifically, we can see that we have a little bit of a step-like uh, variation of uh, uh, the output as compared to the position Y input. This is not ideal. Uh, it tells us that we need additional simulation and additional data point for the training. But in general, is that? But in general, after the training, we can see that we can pick the best uh, algorithm and the best response surface to then use the response surface for a virtual optimization of our system. In order to pick the best as you can see here, the starred design, we need to reduce the absolute error, the mean absolute error. Of course, this error should be contextualized with the absolute values of the observable. For instance, the number of particles in this case, it's in the order of the thousands. So a mean error of 30 is approximately 0.3%. And then, Another parameter we can use to select a specific algorithm is uh, the R squared parameter. Once we select and prepare the uh, response surface, we can then create an optimization uh, workflow in Mode Frontier. In this case, we wanted to maximize the lubrication and minimize the losses. And after that, we launched uh, an optimization step, specifically in this case with the MOGA2 algorithm. It's a very widely used algorithm for optimization. So in this case, we use a completely virtual, so only using the response surface output. We then launch the optimization that in this case was completely virtual. So meaning that we didn't run any new particle work simulation, but we used the response surface to understand what were the outputs of 5,000 simulations. And the MOGA2 algorithm was able to perform this kind of optimization. And after that, we could see the trends between the number of particles and the total losses for the 5,000 virtual simulations. And we can also mark the Pareto design, so the optimal design, at the frontier. Once the Pareto design were obtained, we could also understand how, for instance, the angle X uh, and the position Y were distributed ag along those optimal, optimal solution. Once we identify the Pareto design, we could look at the distribution of the input parameters for these optimal solutions. So for instance, we can see the two areas where the input parameter can optimize and maximize the 
number of particles while minimizing the losses. This is all for the optimization of a particle work simulation using Mode Frontier and the Python API PVPy, specifically designed for particle works. I hope you enjoy this uh, example and uh, I hope that you will reach us uh, if you want to understand, better understand how to apply this methodology for your system. Of course, it has to be said that it's important uh, to develop this kind of methodology to have uh, a system that can be analyzed in a short enough amount of time because otherwise to perform all the uh, basic simulation needed for training the response surface can be very challenging. I hope you enjoyed this uh, webinar and uh, I wish you and I hope we can get in touch very soon.